What's up, children of the sun? This is your metaphysical advisor, Montrey Bible, doing a weekly read, general weekly read. Let's see what is going on for this week. Oh, let's see. oh Mercury's going direct. So I think communication will be improving um, this week as Mercury goes direct. Less confusion going direct in Cancer. Um, Chiron is going retrograde. So Chiron is going to in Aries, which is going to focus on healing, wherever Aries is. Usually Aries is about our sense of self. So a lot of strong healing in that area uh, as it goes retrograde. All right. Angel Spirit Guides, Ancestors, please get more insight into this energy's week. This is a general week. Blech. Sorry, tongue tied. This is a general reading for everyone. So if you want a personal reading, you can... Hit the link in the description. Also, if you are a children of the sun, you get um, access to zodiac readings for the week ahead of everybody else. So that's always good. Click the join button if you want the zodiac readings. You get it, but I still post it, but later on. So if you want to kind of get a jump on the week, then that's for you. All right, guys. Let's see what's going on this week. These cards are going to represent the energy of that day. So, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Major Arcana card. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. Four of Swords. Ugh. I'm so tongue-tied today. Four of Swords talks about um, restlessness or something or going back to something that you took a break away from. This could be in relationships, but also this could be also just being feeling restless in some type of aspect of your life. Tired of resting, tired of taking a chill pill. Um, like I said, for many of y'all might be relationships because I see a lot of some emotional cards here for the week. Uh, so I think a lot of focus, if you've been separated from somebody, in a relationship or if you've been having relationship issues i see something somebody coming together so sunday we have the two of cups the two of cups talks about two people coming together communicating um two people who may have been separated in the past this could be a lover friend family member anybody really two of cups could be just joining up with somebody else but this is definitely someone that you haven't had contact with in a second someone that maybe you had some feelings um in the past somebody who was an ex broke up maybe you've uh, just taken a break from somebody you haven't seen them in a long time uh could be because of the quarantine you know but you will be seeing somebody on sunday on monday we have the four pinnacles this is feeling stable um this is about feeling more secure where you weren't um in regards to your financial life maybe uh Feeling restless about maybe your money situation, about getting stable, or just feeling secure within yourself during on on, t on Monday. Feeling more financially secure, wanting to keep yourself safe. Also in regards to relationships, this is might be just taking it a little bit slow because you want something stable. You don't want to take it too fast, okay? Because you're like, okay, well, I'm still guarding my heart a little bit. I'm with this person. I like this person, but I'm still kind of uh, on guard. On guard! You know, with the four pinnacles there. Because you want something more stable. This is two people coming together to create something more stable. They're very two very different people, though. I see some balance coming on on Tuesday with the six of pentacles. Um, this talks about basically uh, finding that balance where things, uh, uh, the balance between giving and taking. This is also a offering your help to somebody or getting help from somebody. This may be you giving help to somebody, offering your help. But this is also a balance between what you practically can give and what you cannot, okay? So if there's somebody in need in your life that needs something, I don't know, feel like you're offering them something. You may be also, some of y'all might be lending somebody some money. Wednesday, this is really getting, letting down your guard for real. Wednesday, it's getting out of your head. It's this taking away from this break time. You're really getting out of your head about a situation. This is what I'm talking about, this healing. I feel like a lot of y'all are getting some personal healing, something that you were worried about, no longer stressing about on Wednesday. 
there's still a little bit of standoffish. There could be you or somebody else who's being still emotionally unavailable. Like they don't want to start something new. They're like, oh, yeah, there seems to be some hesitation between either you or somebody else. Someone is still kind of like, not only are they on guard, because we have this four, four pinnacles here, and we have this four of swords, and now we have this four of cups. This is someone who is still not ready to make that jump, okay? They're communicating with you now. There's still this restless energy, but there really somebody in the picture is not ready to make that full jump toward a relationship, but these talks are coming. It's like, okay, let's talk about this. Let's talk about what's really going on. But somebody's still being emotionally distant. They're not being honest with themselves about what they really want. Friday, we have the four of wands. Obviously, there's some turnaround by Friday. Somebody is changing. Somebody's happy. I feel like both of y'all are happy in this situation because we've gone from Sunday with these two of cups coming together and having this really honest communication, honest talks about what is, what is it that you're looking for? What is it that you really need? By Friday, we got those four of wands. This is not only being happy, but this is like, okay, we've actually made some progress in, in our happiness and trying to get forward. Saturday says, ooh, Saturday's energy is actually kind of ruling the week. This is the, the high priestess. This is a very spiritual connection. This is about the hidden. There's still some things that are unknown. And the high priestess wants you to dive deeper on Saturday to even figure it out. Actually, all week, this is about diving deeper. But Saturday is really important because I feel like whatever it is, you're going to have to, that energy is going to be really heightened on Saturday where you need to go deeper in the spiritual and figure out, okay, what is it that I'm really looking for? What is it that I need? You know, is this what it is? You know, this is something deeper. This is way something deeper, way more spiritual than you even realize. This is not even on surface level kind of stuff. This is you and connecting with someone on a very strong spiritual level. So this is really good cards. I see some really good, some good energy happening here. At least trying to happen. <clears throat> Let me pull, excuse me, pull an angel card for the week. <clears throat> angel card for the week. <clears throat> Oh, yep, yeah, gentleness. The gentleness card. This is really taking your time with somebody. Angel Sendola. Sendophon. <laughs> That's a weird name. Sendophon. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. This is like avoiding arguments. Just kind of like, okay, like, if you want to have that talk, let's have that talk, you know. But it's also being very gentle. Uh, embracing peace, you know. What is it, Anna? Animal Oracle advice for the week. Okay. Yeah, halfway there. Flamingo. This is embrace the in between. I feel like you and someone else this week are getting there. The flamingo has one leg up, one leg down. I don't feel like you're completely there yet with somebody, but you've got this balance. You have to learn how to balance that in-between stage of being with somebody and still working on it, still having to work on it. Work on your entanglements this week. <laughs> that's the joke. That's a Will Smith and Jada Pinkett joke. Anyways, uh, that's enough for the week. Like I said, be sure to subscribe. Uh, and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know how your week is going. If you want to see your zodiac signs early, be sure to click the join button and make your reality happen. Because if you don't do it, then who will? Have a great week, guys.